Well, I'm out looking for artifacts, I guess, again. Uh, haven't been here long. It rained today. So that's kind of nice. Makes you be able to see really well. Uh, and get bit by mosquitoes, apparently, because, gosh, there's a lot of mosquitoes out. As soon as I got down here, they started getting me. Anyway, I'm finding little small flakes everywhere. Thin stuff. Like this one here. Real thin. Anyway. It's just laying everywhere. I got a bunch of little stuff in my bucket. Well, I ain't got a bucket today. I got a tub. My bucket's still full of stuff. But there's a bunch of little flakes in there. Uh, I stopped as soon as I got down here. Started picking them up. So hopefully I'll find some cool stuff. I'm trying to make it down to the river. Uh, I told him I wouldn't wander too far out there. So that's cool because everything kind of runs down this way. But I bet up there in the valley of that hill there's all kinds of stuff. I talked to a, a kid that grew up around here, and him and his family have lived there for a long time, I guess, and they have a whole bunch that they've collected, uh, so he's going to do what he can to get him some pictures so I can show them off. A little point I found the other day was uh, probably really archaic, it looks like, and uh, I had a hard time even finding it in Indiana, uh, but I found it, and the kid I talked to today has one pretty much just like it and I found mine 20 miles from his but anyway I want to see his collection uh, so at least I can get a better understanding of what's going on here the little point that I found live the day I found it looks like an Adina point but it's really tiny so I'm kind of confused by it uh, from what I gathered the Adina points are medium to large and that thing's like itty bitty little guy so uh, anyway thought that was pretty cool that they got a whole bunch of arrowheads and he just lives a block or so down that way but I imagine if I go a block that way and talk to a farmer or a family that's been there a long time they have a collection as well because stuff's just here and we've been here and anyway so I'm gonna do what I can to find some of those collections just so I can kind of show everybody what's going on here uh, so we can have a better understanding of what was here it doesn't seem like the understanding we have is very broad so uh, that'd probably be a good idea anyway I'm gonna get off this thing and keep picking up rocks because uh, I really like rocks that would be a good one to tumble make a little gemstone out of it anyway uh, I'll try to get back with you well I'm back <clears throat> starting to rain a little harder I guess but I reckon that'll be all right uh, got a lot of pretty stuff in my pocket, in my bucket. I'm gonna have to clean that. There's real thin flakes in there, and they're nice. Uh, let's see what I got. Hold on. I got too much stuff in my hands to be able to function. I think that may have been a little preformed knife, or the tip to a big blade, probably. Seems more likely, I guess. So I put that guy in my pocket. That's real shiny. Imagine finding something made out of that. There's just an oodle of stuff in there that's pretty. Uh, there's probably a broke tip or two in there, I bet. i just been picking up so much stuff. I wanted to show you guys what I'm picking up, but I wouldn't get none, none if I show you everything, so. Anyway, I thought I'd take a break for a minute while it rained. Look at these little bitty, itty bitty flakes. It's a good place, but. It seems like it's like it's everywhere. I stopped today for a little while and found a preformed blade and some other stuff just kind of on the side of the road. I was there for 15 minutes maybe and I filled up both of my pockets. I got the stuff cleaned up at least and then, well, I got the opportunity to take an hour. So I thought, well, I better go for a walk. And I guess I'm glad I did. I'm finding lots of purdies. If nothing else, I got purdy stuff. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna walk a little bit more. Try to make it down the creek. Uh, we'll see. Maybe it'll stop raining when I get over there. I ain't far off. So I'll get back with you. All right. So I'm getting soaked. Uh, I had kind of a rain jacket in my truck, but I couldn't get the zipper to work. And I was like, man, I'll just leave it up here. I shouldn't have left it up there. Anyway, I decided to come down to the river for a minute. Look. Watch out. That's a nutting stone. It's got two holes, even. Uh, it's a pretty decent one. So I'm going to take it home. I like the little ones because I can just kind of take them home, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I just pulled this out of the bank. Nice little preform. 
it's pretty. So I was excited about it, and uh, I thought I'd show you it. There's all kinds of stuff in there that I'm gonna have to clean. Uh, it just keeps getting more and more stuff in there. I don't even know what's in there really. I got a bunch of broken stuff in my pocket too that's a little nicer than the stuff in my bucket. Uh, let's see what I got. That's that pretty one. Hang out right there stuff. Not real sure about that, Jobby. Looks a little triangle-y, I guess. Sharp all the way around. Uh, not sure, but I thought it was something, so I put it in my pocket. Uh, see what else. A pile of stuff over there. Uh, thought this was cool. Uh, just got one side on it, but I don't know if it's something or not. I'll put it in my little bucket there. Real pretty flint down here. It's crazy how pretty this stuff is. Uh, and that's a lot of what's in that bucket is really, really super pretty stuff. Look at this. Oh, don't lose it. Where'd it go? There it is. It's a big piece of quartz. A pretty piece of quartz. There's another one that's in there that's small and round and real pretty too. So that's pretty exciting. Don't lose this little guy. Put him back in my pocket. Uh, What's this? More pretty stuff. Uh, it almost looked like that top corner up there was worked a little bit. That's why I put it in my pocket, but I'm not real sure if it's anything. Let's see what else. Oh yeah. I got two in here all together like this. It looks like a little broken tip off of something. Uh, I'm not real sure, but I got them in my pocket. Anyway, I'm gonna keep looking for stuff and uh, try not to get too much more wet. So I'll try to get back with you. All right, I'm back. Uh, I barely moved, I was there. I'm here now. Uh, just found that. Might not be nothing, but looks pretty handy to me. Anyway, I'm just gonna put that in my pocket. <clears throat> found this little jobby just now too, look. Worked on that side. Broke something or another. Uh, pretty stone. No pretty stone, just hanging out here. It's weird. I come down here all the time. I walk right here all the time. And I never really found nothing but broken stuff. So thanks, Rain. Here's some plant. <clears throat> anyway, I need to quit walking around in the rain, I guess. Uh, I probably got priorities I need to do. But uh, I'm finding all kinds of stuff. I feel kind of like a kid in a candy store today. It's crazy. So I just wanted to share my excitement, I guess. Uh... Anyway, I'm going to look around a little bit more, and then I'm going to try and get out of here. So, I'll try to get back with you, maybe. Alright, so, uh, I guess I shouldn't have stopped recording. Uh, anyway, I just turned back around. Here's another little nutter. Hold on. Where's he at? There he is. There's his hole. It's probably broke. It's probably bigger. There's probably more of it. Maybe right here. No. Anyway, found another little preform right there sharp it's nice cool looking stone so I'm gonna take that home with me look at this little orange guy I'm take him home too pretty anyway uh, I'm probably gonna head out of here I know I keep saying that but I'll uh, try to clean up some of the stuff that I found and uh, show you a little video of the cleaner stuff I guess there's all kinds of things in this bucket I want to show you so I'll uh, get back with you, I guess. I just want to show you that nutter. Let me take it home, too, because it's small. So, anyway, I'll get back with you. Well, I'm back. Uh, again. I still haven't moved. Uh, so, no, I haven't went home. But look at this thing. Ain't that neat? It's got perfect little handles on the side. Smooth on the top up there. That's awesome. So that's going in my bucket. Anyway, I wanted to really show you. This little guy. It's just the tip, but it's nice. All that stuff's just laying right here. I was sifting the other day right down there and didn't find really a lot of anything, some broken flint, but if I would have come right over here that day, I would have found stuff, so yay luck. Anyway, I found it today, so that's good enough. That's a neat little thing right there too I just found. So I'll put it in my bucket. Anyway. There's that jobby. 
I like that little hammer I just stuck in here. That's nice too. I'll take it. Anyway, I'm gonna come down here and sift right here at some point. New place, I guess. New place, the same old place. The uh, little point that I found that looks like an Adena one was right there. Uh, the day I found it. And right down that way, I found the little blue one that looks like it might be early archaic. Uh, so, this must be a really good spot right here. It's probably all just falling out from that field up there or whatever. Anyway, I gotta get out of here. Here comes more rain, so I'll get back with you in a little bit. Show you my stuff. Alright, here's some of the stuff I found today. I really don't even know where to start. Here's a netting stone. And there's a netting stone. Uh, I got a whole bunch of quartz. Pretty quartz. Different sizes. All up there. This one's got a little pink in it. Uh, let's see. Got all kinds of flint. All different sizes and colors and thicknesses. Yay, flint. Alright, here's big pieces. Like that. Real pretty stuff. Uh, let's see. Here's one broken dip. That's pretty nice. I don't know what kind of unit it would have been, but it would have been something big. Uh, here's a little blo broken point, maybe. Kind of looks like it. I got another little white one just like this. Somewhere around here. Uh, I thought this thing was cool. Might be worked on that edge. It's sharp. Not so much there, but kind of. But it's got that groove in the middle. Probably just some kind of imperfection, but it's pretty neat looking anyway. Uh, here's just little thin pieces of flint like that. Look at that. You can probably see through it. It would have made a real good point. Speaking of which, here looks like it might have been a point. So, unfortunately, it's not a point no more, but it would have been really, really thin if it was. So, here's another little tip right here. Different kind of stone. It's not chert. Kind of feels like gravel, really, but I don't know what it is. Uh, let's see. Here's another little broken deal. Worked on that edge. Probably was worked on that one at one point. Um, it looked like a little freeform knife at some point in time. Uh, it's a real good stone. Real smooth. So, there's that one. This little jobby here has worked all right here, all down that side, but it's got a pretty good size fracture there, so maybe it split in half, it was twice this size, or maybe that's just how they made it, it was a little knife. I'm not real sure, but <clears throat> thought it was cool, here we go. Here's another little knife guy, like that. It's neat, it's real smooth, pretty looking thing. Here's another little knife guy like this, uh, I'd call him. A right-handed guy. The other one was probably left-handed. It's not as good, but it's still a little knife guy nonetheless. <clears throat> Here's another little knife guy. So there's three of them. That one's sharp. Uh, another right-handed one. So we got one left-handed, two right-handed. I don't find a lot of left-handed stuff. Here's a little piece of chirp cracked open like that. Real pretty stone. Um, see what else? Here's some more little. Little flakage. It's real pretty too. Uh, I got a lot of stuff today. I wasn't really gone very long. Some more flint church stuff like that. Here's the weird points. I don't know what these are. I find a lot of them though. They don't look really worked, but they look like points. So here's one. I can't see. Okay, here's another one. I don't know if they're anything or not, but I got a. I probably got a dozen of them now. And uh, this thing's weird. Don't know what it is or if it's anything. Or if it is something that's really old something. Crappy stone it looks like. But it reminds me a lot of that guy. The way it's broke. So, but I don't know. It's kind of like a sandstone or something. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's petrified wood even. Anyway, that's that thingy. And, uh, a little hammer guy. I like him. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's been used. Definitely been used. 
I'd make a good one for my collection of those. Let's see. Looks like it's been worked a little right here. A little broke jubby. A lot of broke stuff today. I guess that's what happens when you go in the field. So, you know, here's some more chert. I still got a bunch of stuff in my bucket. Got a bunch of stuff in my other bucket too I need to go through, so. One day I'll get there, huh? A little bitty guy somewhere. Where is he? This little thing, maybe? It's real pretty. And then, uh, this one. I don't think it's quartz, really. It might be a type of quartz, but it's cool looking. I need to get a rock tumbler, everybody. One day, maybe. Uh, a friend of mine might let me use his uh, metal detector, so I'm going to start metal detecting, I think. Pretty soon, I might as well. I'm out there. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope you like the stuff. And, uh, happy hunting.